all right? And teams will sometimes ping pong, what we call ping pong pass, to try and get our defensive players in, in transition, in rotation. So uh, TC throws the ball back out to Mike, close out on that like we normally do. All right, Mike, a little bit deeper, so it's even a shorter pass, all right? So now we're back to our standard coverage, and then Mike, rather than making the next pass on the perimeter, he might ball fake in that direction and throw it right back to TC. Okay, when that happens, that's an automatic situation for us. We were in a plug coverage when the ball went to the corner the first time, it goes back to the wing, and now they throw it right back to the corner again. We shift our coverage from plug to butterfly, and we do that automatically. The players obviously have to communicate, they have to recognize first of all, and then they have to communicate the change in our coverage. It's a really simple thing to do. Our teams do it all the time. Uh, we actually developed this uh, little uh, variation because one of the teams in our conference would do that to us. They would put the ball at the wing, throw it to the corner, wing back to the corner, and make our players have to transition in and out. So we developed this variation to try and combat that. Let's just take a look at that live. Let's take a look at that live. So Mike, you're going to throw it down to TC. We're going to plug. TC back to Mike. Mike, maybe a ball fake, and then throw it right back. Pat and Ryan, make sure you guys call out the uh, plug situation. Dan, get up a little bit higher. You want to be in a straight line between the ball and the rim, right? And there's a postman there. You want to be up a little bit higher. Wings in coverage. You got the high post, right? OK, there you go. All right. Ready? Play it. Here we go. Call out the plug first. Good. All right, hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up right there. Good.